As the invasion of illegal immigrants continues to be facilitated by money-grabbing opportunists and America-hating liberals, a chorus of objections can be heard. Church Milton's Paul Morano exposes some of the political hypocrisy in deep blue states and the human element within the Catholic Church. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, head of the nation's largest border state, is taking matters into his own hands to push back against Joe Biden's open border policy. And now we have chaos. That has caused Texas to have to step up and take unprecedented action. Abbott is shipping illegal immigrants to liberal meccas like New York City and Washington, D.C. Last night, three more busloads arrived in New York. Mayor Eric Adams was furious. And I think that the Governor Abbott's, what he's doing is just so inhumane. Just for sharing the illegal immigrants, Adams vows to help defeat Governor Abbott in Texas. For the good of America, we have to get him out of office. Non-governmental organizations hired by the federal government are assisting in the humanitarian crisis. And by the way, if you're a Catholic and giving money to Catholic charities in America, weren't you hoping it was going to help Americans, not other people from other countries to come to America illegally? Are you happy about that? Think about that I think for a it's second. our government giving money to Catholic charities, it by is. the way. Well, why is Catholic charities using their apparatus in order to because, uh, in order because, to Because it makes make money work. for them. Yet, Monsignor Kevin Sullivan, head of Catholic charities in New York, seems perturbed when immigrants knock on his doors. The chaos which angers me, Sullivan said yesterday, is we've seen over 200 documents that have been issued by immigration authorities in Texas listing our office as residences of these individuals. The hypocrisy seems widespread, with NGOs making money off desperate people and Democrats attaining future dependents to keep them in power. Paul Morano, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. We've previously reported on how Catholic Charities, working in conjunction with the feds, assists in transporting illegal immigrants in the dead of night to various destinations across the country.